We are the Falkland family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Look at what's new, friends. Look at what's new. Um, I was going to do a whole montage thing of like removing the other table and watching Brian uh, put together <laughs> the three new desks and going to Ikea to pick them up and all that stuff. But, you know, such is life. This is what we have. Just letting you know we did that and this is the end result. <laughs> I'm very happy with it because I feel like the kids all have a space for their um, study things to live. And we've got drawers, friends. Um, so uh, instead of them keeping most of their like personal study time things in their book bags, we can just grab the book bags when we need them. But for now, all of their things can live inside of their nice cushy drawer. I do still have to get them new chairs because these have seen their day. But um, now I'm going to fill in their drawers and I'm getting ready to work my way through logging these books from January. Everything we've read in January thus far. We still have um, an additional week and I'm trying not to get wrapped up on that because I'm like I have to include the last week in the wrap up but I don't think that it's going to kind of work out that well so I'll probably just have to include the last week for um, my records but for our wrap ups that we do it probably won't include that last week, but the week before. So I don't know. I've got to figure that out. Show them what we're no, about to do. No, not this. Okay. No, I'm not ever. gonna. I, I didn't want to tell you anything. I just wanted to. I wanted to take um a, a picture. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on one second. Good job. All right. So we looked up our first word. Mhm. Mm and what was it? Effervescent. Effervescent. And what does it mean? Effervescent. <laughs> it means. Enthusiastic. Yes, and vivacious. So I think that effervescent is a beautiful word to describe who? Me. You. <laughs> so this one is bringing me stacks of books so that we can catalog. The ones I've read. Yes, the ones he's read. So if we make a nice catalog of all of the books, they should be easier to quantify, easier to analyze. So... This is what I will be doing <laughs> pretty much all day, friends. We're going to be starting this soon. Um, for Read Aloud, they are listening to Green Glass House, the second book in Green Glass House. It's not my absolute they'll, favorite, they'll but they really books. like it. Yeah, they really like it. So while they do that and finish that up, I'm going to go ahead and start this with them. Um, we're going to be doing The Extraordinary Education of Nicholas Benedict. This is from the Mysterious Benedict Society. Um, this is like the fourth book, but I heard, and I do want to read, it's the fifth book. 
It's the fifth book. I do want to read all of them, but I heard that this one is okay to read first. So I kind of sort of feel like this is going to be a favorite of mine. Okay, 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 friends. So this is what I'm... This one... So Kendall and I have been using, well, for his birthday, for Kendall's birthday, because y'all know he's the chef in the family, um, we actually got him slightly bit of an unconventional gift. We went ahead and got him a subscription to HelloFresh, and we got in our order for this week, so we are going to unbox it. And we do the two to four serving one and this gives him an opportunity to try out something new to try his hand at making the meal from start to finish we get the deliveries when saturday saturday and then we plan them out to cook on monday wednesday and friday so that was our his days that he tries out his culinary skills he um invites a guest somebody from the family so mommy will be invited one night or cameron or savannah or daddy and he just goes ahead and tries out each of the recipes um follows the instructions um i normally help him with things like cutting onions because that is not that is not his favorite is cutting onions <laughs> but it's been working out really really nicely as a bit of an add-on to like a culinary arts type of um, course that we're just kind of working our way through. So he's got beef and cheese tostadas. Okay, and then we've got pecan crusted trout. Okay, and then the last one that we have here is pork al pastor. I think I am his guest today. And then we just have each of the bags. Yeah, we just kind of pull out. So he can take a look at all of the ingredients. I don't know. I feel like the most innovative, creative homeschool mom on the planet. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else has used these in this way. Um, but this is just not something I typically would use um, for our whole family. Uh, but I just thought this was such a good idea for like date nights. Um, that was my first uh, plan of action for using it. Um, and then I just thought, wow, like he's our little chef and uh, it's not always a really big option for him to take um, outside courses. He has done that a couple times, but this is a way that he can still get in cooking new meals. Our meat is down here. That's the chicken and the beef. And then the trout is beef and cheese tostados. Let me see. Hold it up. Hey, friends. Um, if you guys use HelloFresh, let me know what have been your favorite recipes so far. Um, we have a couple that have made it to like easy favorites for us to the point where we follow the recipe and just kind of make the things on our own. So that's nice. Um, Chef, uh -huh. you ready to cook? Uh -huh. Okay. Brian and I are going to head off on a walk really quickly or just around the block. And then when we get back, we'll get into cooking these meals. What is that, Kendall? A smile. What? <laughs> nice. Don't forget to subscribe.